Here you see a mobile application developed in Adobe Dreamweaver CS6 using the jQuery mobile framework and PhoneGap to make it a native application on your mobile device. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to utilize PhoneGap's popular child browser plugin that allows you to display external web pages within your app in a sub view. It is preferable to a traditional hyperlink in that it allows the user to press a button to dismiss that view. Returning control back to your app. Whereas if you view the external web page using the mobile browser, it may take multiple steps to return to your application, which is not as desirable. At the time of this recording, only Android and iOS are supported with, with support for BlackBerry and Windows Phone uh, coming very soon. Let's go into Dreamweaver and see how in just a few easy steps you can have all of your external web pages and PDF documents loading in Child Browser in your native application. Okay, here we are in Dreamweaver and I have a jQuery mobile starter layout already loaded. I'm going to turn off Live View so I can work in the design view of my mobile layout and create another button that will take me to an external website. And I just hit return after page 4 which brings me up another list item. I'm going to type in adobe.com and then I'm going to highlight the text come down to my properties panel and inside the link box I'm going to put in a pound symbol which when I hit return um, analyzing my code view over here um, you can see that I have a URL and it's just going to pound um, so I'm going to click to the right of the double quote I'm going to hit the space bar and I'm now going to insert um, a JavaScript um, on click event so I'm going to type in on click and from here I'm going to type in the following JavaScript window.plugins.childbrowser.showwebpage and then parentheses single quote and then after the single quote I'm going to type in my web address which in this case is www.adobe.com of course you need the HTTP in there too. I'm going to put it, close it with the single quote and then parentheses and then semicolon. The JavaScript code for a plugin is inserted into your project by PhoneGap build at build time. Plugins usually depend on the PhoneGap uh, JavaScript being loaded first. Um, so we're going to go ahead and insert in the coding for PhoneGap. And then we're going to enter in the child browser. JavaScript. Okay, in the next step, to import the native code for the plugin, we need to edit a file on our files panel called config.xml. Now, if you don't see this file listed in your files panel, it may be because it's a brand new project and you've never built it before. So, what you'll need to do is come up here first to the PhoneGap build service, make sure you're logged in and click build application to send it to PhoneGap build which will then create this config.xml file. I'm going to go ahead and double click it and open it up. You'll notice in my config.xml file that I have two unique XML elements. First is a feature element that imports the native code for child browser and this one is version 2.0.1 which is the version to use if you're using PhoneGap 1.5.0 or later. Um, they do have um, a different child browser um, plugin version to use if you are using an earlier uh, PhoneGap uh, version than 1.5.0. Um, so you need to make sure you have the right version here in this complete code. Um, the second thing you need is this access element and this is responsible for allowing your native application to have access to um, any external resource from the web. After you have finished entering in the two elements into the config.xml file, all you have left to do is to save this file and also the index.html file before sending them to PhoneGap build. Now that they're saved, let's come over to the PhoneGap build service panel and we'll click on the rebuild application button. That will then send it to the PhoneGap build service and you can then, once it's finished building, either test it on your mobile device using the QR codes or download the application using the download button and test it on your mobile device or emulator. 